Hello everybody, welcome to Coastal Crafts. Hello and welcome back to Coastal Crafts. So it's very exciting when an email popped into my inbox um, about a week ago saying that Crafters Companion are oh, selling a mystery box for £19 from Imagination Crafts and I've never bought a Crafters Companion mystery box so I thought you know what this is going to be my first one and I wasn't disappointed I was very happy so check out what came in this goodie box £19 so oh, it's a big bag of stuff it did come in a box as well let's see so we got some stamps and look at these gorgeous Paris stamps Someone's beeping their car um, and we know I love Paris and there are a few things that are Paris themed in this kit which is perfect for me obviously because I'm doing my Paris journal so travel post um, a little, so little French stamp things there and the Paris Eiffel Tower so that will go perfectly in there and other little bits that will just be cute stamps I've not really looked at these properly yet so let's just pull them out and quickly see what kind of stamp they are wow that is a nice feeling good quality sticky chunky stamp very nice a nice quality stamp so happy with that so that's one thing um then we've got i've got an, another stamp this one's a bit more random not entirely sure what the stamp hello it's all falling on the floor now um that one I'm not entirely sure what that one is meant to um be i think it's some kind of bauble selection of baubles or is it a selection of perfume bottles i don't know but that's quite an interesting stamp as well and i can tell that this one is going to be a good quality i feel how thick it is yeah really nice not the cheapo acrylic stamps it's got the smell of photopolymer as well so yeah that'd be interesting do you think that's perfume bottles maybe i'll have to see when i stamp them out and I've also got this one, which is a nice flower one. So it's obviously going to do the black bits going to stamp down and the white bits going to be left clear. So it'd be interesting. I've not got many stamps in that sort of style. So it'd be interesting to give a play with those two. So we've got three stamp sets. So that's a good deal already. But then I've got some stencils. It's a six by six stencil. We'll take it out so we can just see what is oh, hello, open. <laughs> what is underneath the packaging. So that one, there we go, is Santa flying away with the two reindeer. Um, I, I like this bit, like the stars in this bit. I don't know whether I would feel that that was, was enough detail to be obviously Santa as to whether I will use that, but I definitely like this bit here. Um, and then I've got this stencil. You can see that one quite clearly already, a beautiful flower. And I'll definitely use that because I do love my floral ones. And then this is another Christmas one. We need to open it up to see it properly. There we go. So you can see the shepherds kneeling before the star, and that is presumably meant to be a sheep. That's not obviously a sheep, but if you did it with the shepherds, you would know that. So I'd be interested to see how they come out. The star's very nice, definitely very usable. So I've got those stencils, and then I've got a very big stencil. So I really love this. I love the ballet shoes and dance and this. Actually got a dye that's very similar to that. Lacy dye and those flowers, absolutely gorgeous. And the music. So yeah, really like that stencil. A4 size. So we've got that one as well. So that's my stamps and stencils. Then I got a couple of packs of these Magic Cuts. So they're like that snip art stuff that I've had from Craftbox before. So that one's got keys and locks, they're very useful. And then this one happens to be a French one. Let's open it up and see if there's anything below the packaging. And this will be absolutely perfect, as I say, for my French album. So we've got Bonjour, Amour, Paris, France, Marseille, Carte Postale. So yeah, for me that's perfect, but then also, you know, you've got a lovely street lamp that looked really gorgeous in a Christmas card, Christmassy scene. You've got the cute butterflies there. Um, voila. And of course the French bits. So they will actually be very useful for me. 
So those were my bits. Oh, and I've got this as well. This one, though, I was kind of a bit unsure about. It's a fabric canvas transfer, so one that you can iron on to like a t-shirt or a bag or something, but they don't give you the full picture. So you can't see the picture clearly. And I was thinking, well, I'm not gonna iron that onto a t-shirt and not know entirely what the picture is because it'd be a bit random. So I had to scour the internet to see exactly what the picture looked like. So, um, and it is a very pretty image actually. So I think that is going to go on a white t-shirt for me to wear. But yeah, I wasn't sure about it at first. I thought, hmm, why are they not showing me the picture properly? But yeah, might give that a go, and if I like it, that might be something I do again. And then I got lots of mixed media products. So I think that's what Imagination Crafts is quite a bit of, a crafter's companion. So first of all, there was this transparent relief paste. Never used anything like this before, but it says water-based acrylic paste that can be used on hard surfaces to create a transparent layer of dimension. So that sounds interesting obviously when I'm thinking release leaf paste I'm imagining you might stencil an image and then you might ink over it and then obviously you could then rub off the bit on the transparent clear bit and it would just you know leave that clear and you'd have the color around it but also I imagine it could maybe make like maybe almost like a a glossy coating I'm not sure I'd have to give that a go and see those are just my initial thoughts and I've not even I've not looked at any of these products up to see that's what it looks like there let's give it a little feel so it's not not as liquidy as some things it's got a bit of a bit of chunk to it so that would be fun to play with something a bit different transparent relief paste obviously let me know if you've got any of these products and what they're like then there was a couple of these rusty patina texture paint. So these are going to be great fun. This one seems to be a black, which is always useful. And the other one I got is basically kind of a white, sort of an off creamy white. It appears to be a cat hair. That's my own. Didn't get that one. Um, and they're really good sizes. So you can see a good size pots. So you can always use paint, but texture paint, a little bit more interesting. So that's good. And then I got two of these. And bear in mind, it's all for £19. So I think I've already had my money's worth. I got two of these sparkle mediums. And I've got one like this already that's a clear glitter. But now I've got some gorgeous purple glitter ones. So this is like a light purple. And this is a dark purple. Really nice colours. So they're great to use through stencils as well. Yawning away. Um, so really excited about that. This one I was really excited about as well. Just pearls, liquid jewellery. Um, so you can squirt it out. I think it will have some dimension, a bit like a nouveau drop kind of thing. And a really nice champagne gold colour. So I like that. And then we're getting towards the end. I got a couple of waxes. I've got starlight wax and an alchemy wax. So I've never really used waxes before. Um, but I know that they can be used um, just to colour something, to give it a nice shiny colour, or they could be used through stencils. Two gorgeous colours, a very pinky pink there, and that one's really nice, like a white glistening, I guess pearly one for those two. And the last thing I got in this mystery box is a lavender blue fabric paint. So I don't tend to do a lot of painting on fabric, if I am honest, and I don't know whether I, I would start that up, but I see no reason why this fabric paint couldn't just be used as ordinary acrylic paint, because I've used fabric paint in the same way before, so that's more likely how I will use it, um, otherwise it would be sitting around forever and a day waiting for me to do it. So personally, I think that was a really good deal for £19, and it's, it's just kind of like a nice surprise, isn't it, when you don't know what you're getting, and it's like Christmas when you pull out these different products, and I'm going to have loads of fun playing with all of them yeah so let me know if you want to see me use any of these products and give a bit more of a review or if you picked up a mystery bag or box from crafters companion and yeah what you got in it and i will see you very soon bye